So Grashof number, which is introduced by Franz Grashof, is one of the several important dimensionless numbers of a convective heat transfer. And it's the most important and let's say key dimensionless number in natural convection. It actually plays a role very similar to the Reynolds number, you know, but in natural convection, not in forced convection. Uh, I'll explain what it means physically here and what the application of a uh, Grashof number. You know, the source of flow in free or natural convection is buoyancy forces. Uh? So in free convection, the ratio of buoyancy forces over viscose forces acting on the flowed layer is called Grashof number. So after non-dimensionalizing the Grashof uh, equals to this equation, this equation, yeah? Uh, here, the Z is the gravitational acceleration in meter per square second. Uh, let's say then beta, beta is the coefficient of volume expansion uh, in one per Kelvin. The TS is actually the temperature of the surface in degree Celsius, T infinity is the temperature of the point of fluid which is adequately away from the surface in degree Celsius. Then L is the characteristic length of the geometry in meter and the nu is the kinematic viscosity of fluid in a square meter per second. So finally uh, GR is the crash of number is in nothing, you know, it's actually dimensionless. Okay, now this question arises uh, that, so what is the role of Grashof number in convective heat transfer? You know, there is kind of analogy between Reynolds and Grashof. Uh, it means the role that is played by Reynolds number in forced convection played by Grashof number in a natural or free convection. So what is the role of Reynolds number in force convection? Reynolds is a dimensionless number which characterizes the sort of flow, whether it, it's a, like a, a laminar or turbulent flow in force convection. Now, I think the role of Grashof number is clear, right? And therefore Grashof is a dimensionless number which characterizes the sort of flow, whether is laminar or turbulent, but in natural convection. Uh, maybe here a question arises, so uh, why the Reynolds number cannot specify the regime of the flow in natural convection? The answer is, uh, you know, the source of flow in natural convection is buoyancy, buoyancy forces, while the Reynolds number, I mean, works with inertial forces. Reynolds number works with inertial forces and not with buoyancy forces. That's why. So what is the application of Grashof number in our calculations? It helps us find the convective heat transfer coefficient when the convection is natural. As you know, if the convection is forced, the Nusselt number is the function of Reynolds and Prandtl, right? I already told that in natural convection, the Grashof number plays the role of Reynolds number. So then in natural convection, the Nusselt number is the function of Grashof and Prandtl. So there are empirical correlations found already by means of experiments. So they are uh, equations correlating the Nusselt number with Grashof and Prandtl. Uh, I'm telling equations, not equation, because depending on the different circumstances, like the shape of the plate, in which a fluid flows on it, 
uh, or uh, let's say whether the plate is aligned vertically or horizontally uh, yeah the factors and the shapes of the mentioned equation can be slightly different but you know as i told if the convection is forced we have to go on with Reynolds in order to find the first Nusselt number uh, and then convective heat transfer coefficient. And if the convection is natural, then we have to go on with Grashof and find the Nusselt number and so on. But, you know, the pure forced convection or pure natural convection is almost impossible in reality, you know. It means in the case of convection, both force and natural exist. How, however, you can neglect, for example, the natural one if the force one is very larger, right? And vice versa. There is a criteria, uh, however, uh, to compare them. Uh, if this criteria, um, uh, if, the cr if the ratio of the crash of over square Reynolds is much larger than one, it means the buoyancy forces are larger than, much larger than, let's say, the inertial forces, and you can neglect the forced convection totally, and Nusselt is a function of Grashof and Prontel, uh, and it means it could be assumed that there is only natural convection. So if it is vice versa, it means Grashof over square Reynolds is much is smaller than one, then the natural convection, natural convection is neglectable, and Nussel is a function of Reynolds and Pronto. In the third case, the ratio of the Grashof over square Reynolds equals almost uh, to one. In this case, both force and natural convection are playing role. Uh, yeah, at the same time, they are playing a role, which is called mixed convection, mixed convection. So in this case, the Nusselt, Nusselt is the function of Reynolds, Grashof, and Pronto. Yeah, thanks for your watching. Please subscribe for more like mechanical lectures.